all right guys welcome back to the channel my name is Travis and on this hot beautiful North Carolina day we're going to do a blower motor on a gas furnace the customer had no AC we went out to found the bearings in the motor had went out and we had to order the motor I'm picking up the motor now we're going to do the motor so if you want to see how I replace a blower motor stick with me and you know I'm always glad to show it to you so I'm glad to see you guys back on the channel and I will meet you at the customer's house all right guys I just got to the customer's home I set the thermostat down to have everything come on I'm gonna go ahead and get my tools and everything and I'll meet you at the furnace all right we're here at the furnace the first thing we want to do is we want to shut power off to the furnace I think this power is here all right we got power off We'll go ahead and remove our covers. Alright, there's a lot of things here. Here's your blower motor. And we've got to get back there to the motor. So we've got to take this part off. We've got to take some of our wiring loose and probably our drain. First thing we're going to do remove our thermostat wires all right we got our thermostat wires loose but this right here is connected with screws right here and we can see it right here and right there remove these screws Here, this should come out, it slides forward, and comes out just like that. So, now one thing you can do these are my wires to the motor, and you see we need to take that off. An easy way to do this for you to explain to you is if you cut these wires from your motor, since we're replacing the motor, if we cut these these wires when we go back to put our new motor on everything will have a color code if you get the the manufacturer specified motor everything will be color coded we can go right back to where our connections are our white wire would go here we would pop that off we would put it back here and we can follow the color coding so that's that's an easy way to um, to know where how to wire your your unit up. Just cut the wires. Just put the corresponding colors back to what's what's calling for the board. So next thing we're gonna do is we need to pull our drain a drain off. Drain hoses. We will take that off and move it out of the way. And our drain is screwed into our motor. I'm going to take that off and now we have access to our blower motor okay how do we get that motor out you've got a screw here and a screw right here on each side of the motor you got a screw we need to take that screw out that'll loosen the motor up and we can pull it straight back out here Alright, that's one screw. Now, let's get our screw on this side. Alright, now we got the motor in. This motor slides in little tracks. As you can see here, now we come in. Let's take this motor, pull it straight out. All we did was pull the motor straight out as you can see this motor has little lips on each side and what they do is that motor slides in those tracks you got one on each side so the motor just those lips slide right in those tracks and that's what holds the motor up and those two screws hold the motor secure so uh, let's get this motor outside and we'll start replacing it. All right. The first thing that we want to do 
you got a little set screw right here on your shaft. We want to take that and loosen it to loosen it away from that the shaft. So see. All right, now that we got the set screw out, we want to take our our brackets loose from the motor. Now that we got the motor apart, the uh, all our screws securing the motor on, we need to pull the motor out of the shaft. I'm gonna try to sit this camera so you can kind of see what I do. So I can use both hands. Alright, we'll come out. Alright, we're gonna have to get a wheel puller uh, on this thing to get this wheel off. It's too rusted on. This is an old um, old furnace. So let's go get that wheel puller. Alright, this is our wheel puller. This is the way it looks. Basically what this thing is gonna do is this is gonna sit on top of our our blower wheel where the shaft where the set screw was so basically this is going to sit over your your blower wheel connection where your your set screw was you've got a little bolt that goes up against the shaft this will be secured to where your set screw was so basically as I turn this nut this little part will go down 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 with this being tight and it will actually push the shaft right out of the blower wheel so anytime you have one that's really old you try to sand it down as much as you can and it still won't come out the only thing we can do is um, is use a wheel puller so I'm going to go ahead and put this on, and uh, I can't really uh, film while I'm putting this on because I need two hands. Have you guys back in a second. All right, I got the wheel puller on. Now what we're going to do is we're going to turn this, put a backing wrench here, and try to get this uh, blower, blower wheel off. The wheel puller did its job. We got the motor out, and uh, and so let me take the blower wheel, back, the blower puller back off, and we'll get to how to do this bracket. All right, I got the blower motor out. Um, anytime you replace a motor, you always want to replace it with what the other motor is calling for. See, this is the nameplate of the motor that we have. I don't know if you guys can see, there's there's um, three different things you match up. One is your RPM, which this one is a 1075. The horsepower, this one is a uh, half horsepower, and also your, your voltage. So anytime you have a furnace, you're going to have 115 volts. But you always match up your, your RPMs and your horsepower. To make sure we're, that you're getting proper airflow and the motor doesn't heat overheat or anything. Now we got a motor from the manufacturer itself, so I know this blower motor is within specs. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and start taking this this bracket apart. All right, on this bracket, this is your bracket that holds it to your motor. You want to take that screw out here. You want to take this screw out here. So if you've got two screws on each side of the bracket, you've got three brackets. We will take both of those screws out of each side. And I'll bring you back when we have the motor loose. So let me open up the new motor and let's put it back on. Alright, this motor came with the grommets on it. So, all we're going to do is we're going to slide that over. That over this part of the motor
see this this end slides right into this end so we've got everything back we push it push it all the way down now to hold it before we put our brackets back on we're going to put a screw in each end and that's going to hold everything tight so we can put our brackets back on All right, now that our bracket is secure on our motor, we can go ahead and start putting our brackets back on. Make sure your brackets face the, the angled side it goes to the back of the motor. Because this part, your shaft is going down into your, your wheel. All right, we got everything on. I forgot <clears throat> our ground wire. Our ground wire can go right here. We're going to take this screw back off. All right, we got everything good. All right, this is the side our blower goes down in. We want to take our shaft and just sit it right down in there. Okay, we got that in. And now what we want to do is we want to line up our screw holes for our blower black bracket to hook onto our blower wheel. I mean blower assembly. All right, we got the blower motor secure. While we have it out, these are our wires. We're gonna go ahead and take our brown wires and hook those to our capacitor. We got our capacitor hooked up, got our wires here. All right, now remember those little grooves that I told you on the side? I can't do this with, uh, with one hand. So all I'm gonna do is take this blower wheel over here. I'm gonna set it just like we pulled it out. I'm gonna set it into these grooves. You get the lip right here on this first groove the other lip right here on this first groove and then basically you just take the blower motor and push it straight in and everything should uh should, should be good so i'm gonna go ahead and get this done and i'll get you back as soon as i get finished before i put the motor in we've got to put the set screw on so we got to get there what you want to do you want to line your fan up so you have as much of a gap on this side of your fan wheel and on this side that way you know your fan wheel is 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 even and you'll have proper airflow so we go put the set screw back in as you can see there's a little flat spot there you want to uh put your set screw on the flat part of the motor that way the set screw will tighten properly and it won't slip all right i'm gonna tighten that up with a pair, pair of pliers and i'll be back in a second
All right, guys, I got the motor back in. As you can see, I slid it into those grooves. And basically what I did is just, uh, I just pushed it in once I, I got the first the right side lip in on top of the, the uh, groove. I got the left side up on top of the groove and I just slid the motor straight back in and the motor went in. So basically now we got our wiring and this makes it easy for us because all we got to do is take our white. This is the white wire that we cut off of the other front of the other motor. We're going to take that off. We're going to put our white wire right back. We've got a red wire. We'll find a red. Here's a red wire. We're going to take that off. We're going to put a red wire there. We're going to have a yellow wire. Find a yellow wire. Take it off. Pop it back on. Got a blue wire. It's right here. We're going to take that off. And pop this one back on. We've got a black wire. We're going to take that off and we're going to pop it back on. All right. So let me go outside here. So essentially, we've replaced this entire blower motor. It's a little tough, but uh, hey, we can handle anything. We got that motor in. I'm going to save you on all the wiring. I showed you how to uh, how to take it apart. But I'm going to save you on that because that's really non-essential to putting this blower motor in. Your blower motor may be a little bit different. But all mo blower motors are basically the same. So if you can do one, you can do all of them. So we got this blower motor in. I'm going to go ahead and finish up. I'll let you guys get back to it. And uh, we'll go have another happy customer. So uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing for joining me uh, on my service call. Please like and subscribe my channel. It means so much to me. And I'll see you guys back on the next service call. Thanks, guys.